What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna party it up tonight. Highland Resort Flat Rock. Let's go, let's go. It's a it's a rainy yucky morning, but trailers loaded up. Uh, this is this is siding. Our house is getting resided. The whole project. It's Christmas light season. Though. Look at all the boxes. Just want to take you guys on a behind the scenes before we head all out. We have a heck of a drive today. About three and a half hours all the way out to Flat Rock. We got a hotel for the night because it's a lot. But um, Christmas light stuff is building up. Look at that. All those boxes right there. That is one of four orders that showed up for that. A lot of it's over at the storage unit, but stuff's crazy. And we're also doing a whole bar renovation project DIY thing. So yeah, on the road to Flat Rock today, we got a pretty nice production, intelligent movers, and uh, Colt Sparks. It's gonna be pretty fun. What are you doing on New Year's Eve? You're tuning into our awesome live stream because the mainstream media, like New Year's Eve coverage, sucks, let's be honest. So we're gonna change that. Tune into my channel, my YouTube channel, DJ Rick Webb, on New Year's Eve. You guys can set your reminders and everything from 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 1 a.m. We're gonna be doing a giant DJ set to make New Year's Eve amazing. You got myself performing, we got DJ Marcellus, DJ Show Out, the whole Fusion Sound and Lighting team. We're gonna be doing live performances in a boiler room setup at my house with all kinds of people involved. Crazy lighting, we'll be doing giveaways. You guys can register for the giveaways right now. We're gonna be giving away both lighting tubes. We're gonna be giving away uh, both lighting mini movers and we're gonna be doing a live stream giveaway through donations. You guys can donate on the stream for uh, interactive things. You guys can request songs. You can do shout outs. You can even buy me a shot on the stream. It's going to be insane. And if we hit our like donation cap of, I think it's 250 bucks, check the details down below, but 250 bucks, we're going to be giving away four unit bags of IR4s to the people on the stream live. This is going to be insane. You guys got to join 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, New Year's Eve, massive blowout live stream. It's going to be amazing. And a little insider bonus right now, there is going to be an extreme special discount at midnight on BothLightingUSA.com along with a complete website redesign. You guys are not going to want to miss out. If you're in the midst of looking to buy some lighting right now, if you're on Eastern Standard Time, midnight, there might be a huge promotion doing for just one hour only from midnight to 1 a.m. So you guys are going to want to tune in. You got to be live to win any of the prizes we'll be providing all the amazing tunes because mainstream media sucks and just come enjoy it come have fun with us on new year's live on my youtube channel i'll see you guys there let's go three hours later actually more like three and a half hours later we are here at highland lake inn resort i believe we've been here before marcel's i think had a wedding here just about a month or two ago at the grand old hall this, this little building here we're gonna go see was what? They did say everything's level to load in. Apparently there's a stage inside. Uh, we'll have probably about 80-ish people here today. Should be fun. Colt Sparks gonna be rocking. It looks like a grand old hall. <laughs> Timbers and everything. There's Memorial Table. Uh, I think they came to party. I think they came to party, Jacob. LED foam sticks and everything. This is, wow, that, that was, this is it. This is it. This, this is observing. One, two, three, four, five. We got a stage over there. This is gonna be set up in no time. I do think the amount of echo I'm gonna have to run a speaker as a fill. But we're gonna we're gonna look around and observe. This is what I preach to you guys is do your site surveying first when you first show up. Get a lay of the land, figure out what you're gonna do. Figure out what we're gonna do is the best answer I got right now. <laughs> so I think what we'll do just because we don't have much space, like that stage is small and also this is very small in general, and we want to make it feel smaller. We'll put my table down below here. We'll put the, and then we'll set up that rack table in the facade right on the stage. So I'll be like down up in here, and then we'll do movers on both sides, and we'll do our cold sparks. Should be interesting. My secondary question is like, that's that room, and we're over here. <laughs> oh, unless that's the stage they want me to set up on. That's what I was thinking about. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. 
Hold up. Actually, you know, I have a floor diagram somewhere. This actually makes more sense because there was like random tables over there. I guess we'll set up on the stage. I don't know if I want to put the totems up there or speakers for sure need to be down on the ground. That's just in general. That's the rules. Okay, this make more sense. Yeah, we're just gonna have to lift the table up to this. A little bit of a jump. Nothing too crazy. It's currently two o'clock. It doesn't start until seven. Our, our goal here is we're gonna quickly set up everything and leave, go to the hotel, then come back. Yep, 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 yep. So speakers, there's outlets already on either side for that too, which is nice. All right, we're gonna get set up. We're gonna bust this out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so you know I preach on the channel about having multiple circuits at your setup, especially when you have a production like today where we have moving heads, we have cold sparks, we have a lot of stuff pulling a lot of power. More than likely, we could run this all on one circuit, but we don't know what else is plugged into those circuits. So my friend Jim over at Colorado Sound and Light made this amazing, awesome device right here. This is a circuit tester. And what this allows you to do, so you have this box right here with an IEC and it comes with a little plug here. You can plug this into two different outlets and this light will tell you if you're on the same circuit or not. So if the light does not light up, you're on the same circuit. If the light does light up, you're good to go. You got two separate different circuits that you can use. Pretty cool little tool here. So what I like to do is I take an extension cord, plug it in here, and now I can go plug this end into any outlet I want and this end to another one. So conveniently, I have two outlets right here. So I'm gonna see, we're gonna plug this in over here. We're gonna plug this in over here. And we do not have a green light. So these are on the same circuit. We cannot use this. Let's go over here in the middle. I would assume this is gonna be on the same circuit as well. It is not. That is really cool. So we can actually plug in our cold sparks here in the middle and be on a completely different circuit. Very cool little handy tool here from Colorado Sound and Light so you guys can quickly determine if you're on different circuits and you don't have to go check the circuit breakers in the back to see where you're at. And I'll go ahead and put a link down below and if you let uh, Jim know that I basically sent you, he'll send me a few dollars for the referral. So thank you guys. All right, we all set up in no time. It took us about hmm, an hour. We were taking our time. Um, and then we took like half an hour to make sure everything was good. Lighting was good. You got all the pre-programmed static setups done. Got the cold sparks all set, ready to go. Quick little overview. Everything shut off though. Of course, LD Systems, Maui 44 G2s. Overkill for this room. The 28 G3s would have been plenty um, coming soon. Both lighting cold sparks, both lighting S4s in the totems and behind there. Both lighting MH... Or no, those are not the MH, those are the Aurora 1915 wash movers. Love these things, super bright. And of course, the both lighting tubes, 360 tubes on the stands. I think I've shown this before, but we found out that middle section right there, you can actually take it out if you want to create a shorter setup. So this is just the top section. So what we did is the black piece that's normally on the bottom of that bottom one, we just unscrewed it and screwed it in here. And then voila, you can make them shorter. So we did that because we're on a stage to make them a little bit shorter, more at like eye level down here. Those ones are up a little higher. Creates a nice little elevation, nice little setup. Of course, we have the turntable booth, back rack, all that ready to go. Anyways, we're gonna fly over to the hotel. We'll be back soon. What's up, peeps? We back. It's um 6.20ish, doesn't start until seven. And um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting one. Let's have some fun. All set up, all set up. Take a look. Looking amazing, looking amazing. I gotta give a shout out. LD Systems, still the best sounding speakers I own right here. These things, the clarity is so good. And the bass is so good for how little these things are. And it's a 15 inch, 15 inch sub. Sounds like a 18. Now I'll also say, this is kind of, this is more on me. I, I tried to get more out of what I actually got, but the Icoa speakers, are not meant for really big weddings. I hate to say it, they're not. They just can't handle it. The Icoa 18s, solid. Those things are bangers. But the 15 inch tops, they just can't hang with the subs and they can't hang with the level I need for like a 200 plus event. So we're gonna be making some speaker changes coming soon. But again, that's not on anybody. The LD Systems Icoa 15 sound amazing but they just don't have the output level that I need for a 200 plus event. They got the output level for like a 100 to 200, which is what I bought the 44s for. So they don't meet my form and function. So, and that's my fault. I mean, the Icoa 15s are not like a $2,000 speaker. They're like a, I don't even think they cost a thousand. I think they're like $900 a piece. And to expect them to do 200 plus is just, that's my fault. We'll be making some speaker purchases here and we're gonna be getting rid of some speakers 
the iKoa 15s are up for sale, the JBL SRX 15s are for sale, and the JBL VRX 918s are also for sale. So if you guys are interested in some speakers, Greensboro, North Carolina, let me know. We're selling the JBL VRX 918s, we're selling the JBL uh, SRX 815 tops, and we're selling the iKoa, the LG Systems iKoa 15s. We're gonna clear house, and I got some new plans for better speakers that are gonna fit the form and function of both my events and where the company is going with corporate events and stuff like that, so more to come. Anyways, it is currently seven, like after 7.30 right now, it's like 7.40, and there's barely anyone here yet. Dinner's on the list is like at nine o'clock. This is weird, so yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned.
started the breakdown time lapse. We're gonna get all broken down and back to the hotel and then travel back tomorrow. All right, everyone, that's all for this uh, gig vlog. Thank you guys for so much for tuning in. We're going back to the hotel. We're gonna chill out, but fully loaded out. Good wedding. Small, but they party. It was fun. Gotta play more country music too, which is not normal for current. Weddings lately. Keep the record spinning. We'll see you guys next time. Like this squad in the comments, all that good stuff. It's a busy October season, that's for sure. More to come. Anyways, uh, yeah, double header next weekend. Wedding after that. Crazy production after that. Peace out. Keep the record spinning. Bye.